A right spiritual posture is important in prayer. When we pray, we pray on the basis of our relationship with God. We know that God is our father and it's not because of our repetition of words that our prayers get heard and Jesus mentioned this in Matthew chapter 6 verses 7 and 8 that it's not really the vain repetition that gets our prayers heard by God um because you see God uh, as Psalm 139 and verse 4 uh, tells us God knows the words of our hearts even before they're on our lips And so when we pray the right posture is to pray with sincerity of heart. God is looking at the sincerity um and the genuineness of our heart. I'd like to read for us Matthew chapter 6 verses 5 and 6. And when you pray you shall not be like the hypocrites for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets that they may be seen by men. Assuredly I say to you they have their reward but you when you pray go into your room and when you have shut your door pray to your father who is in the secret place and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly we understand a couple of things here jesus is asking us to pray uh to the father pray to the father not as a show but as a a, a genuine call upon the lord and we are told that when we do this uh, that god will hear our prayers and that he he will reward us even in the open and so god is looking for sincerity and the right posture in prayer is sincerity of heart uh the second posture for us in prayer is confidence when we pray unto the lord let's also be confident that god uh, is a faithful god and god is a prayer answering god i'll read for us from hebrews chapter 4 verses 14 to 16 seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens jesus the son of god let us hold fast our confession for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses but was in all points tempted as we are yet without sin Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And because Jesus is our high priest, he's been through uh, the the weaknesses that we face in this physical body and yet he was victorious over all of them we are told to have confidence uh, in jesus and his heart for us and so when we come into the presence of god let's come in boldly knowing that we will receive mercy and we will receive grace from god and that god hears our prayers let's pray together Heavenly Father, we thank you that as your children, God, through Jesus Christ, you've made a way for our prayers to be heard. And God, as we pray unto you, Lord, we pray that uh, Lord, you will give us a heart of sincerity. Lord, help us to know who you are so that Lord, every prayer is made with confidence. And God, even as we approach you in that manner, I thank you, God. I thank you for answered prayers in all of our lives. And God, we we honor you for doing this in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.